I am a survivor. I was sexually assaulted my freshman year by a fellow student athlete. After the incident, I felt fear, shame, and guilt, which felt strangely similar. Memories from my childhood came flooding back. It wasn't until I confided in my partner at the time and told him about the incident where the fiery rejection was too similar. I was exhausted, my mental health was struggling, and I was struggling with anxiety and depression and having suicidal thoughts. Eventually it became too overwhelming and I attempted to take my own life. Thankfully, with the support of my teammates, coaches, and support staff, I was able to return to volleyball and it became such a huge part of my healing process that I was able to return to the court. My healing journey was extremely rocky. Ups and downs, turns and twists, and I fell constantly. I struggled with severe anxiety and depression. One night I was walking home when a man came from behind me, grabbed me, entered my home unwantedly, and raped me. I called the police, I had a SANE exam, and the one place where I would come home every day turned into a crime scene. I was exhausted and frustrated with being the world's punching bag. And with the mixture of stress and school and this incident, it was a cherry on top and I again attempted suicide. I was rushed to the hospital and admitted to the ER where I spent time in the ICU. Eventually, I was admitted into the psychiatric ward. There, I searched for anything and anyone that would comfort me, someone that, that was in my shoes, that someone who is similar to me, who is a student athlete or an athlete of some sort affected by sexual abuse. This time after my assault, I was unable to return to volleyball. The same physiological responses that allow me to compete at a high level are the same that occur during a sexual assault. The fight or flight response that is responsible for increased heart rate, increased respiratory, was just too similar for me. The resources available at Michigan helped me through some of the toughest times of my life, but I was searching for something more. As great as those resources were, I felt there was a lack of anything specifically for student athletes that were like me, affected by sexual assault. I, along with my co-founder, created SASH, or Student Athlete Sexual Health. SASH is a nonprofit organization that was formed in order to establish education, community, and therapy for survivors in the athletic atmosphere. We are currently in the process of publishing a workbook to be utilized by student athlete survivors in their healing process. The main goal for SASH is to become implemented at all universities that have athletics to ensure that all survivors have the resources to not only return to athletics, but more importantly, a well-balanced lifestyle. Hello everyone, my name is Lisa Rosen and I'm the Associate Head Coach at the University of Michigan Volleyball Program. I have a tremendous amount of pride and joy in being able to congratulate Sydney Wetterstrom on the award that she was given this past, um, this past spring. The, the amount of spirit, the amount of fight, the amount of joy that comes out of Sydney is just amazing. And I am so incredibly proud of everything that she has accomplished, everything that she's going to accomplish, I'm so looking forward to. And I'm so thankful that she, um, that she was able to take some really very horrific things that happened to her and turn them into very positive, very proactive, um, movements and and the biggest one being sash um at the university of michigan um she is an absolute um joy for me to be involved in and around and i will miss her greatly when she graduates but i'm so so excited to see her future thank you everyone